what was, I will be honest, most inspirational and why I think I did well and why I'm still doing well is the Bible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this I is would... my Bible. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another session of From Information to Transformation. In this program, I bring special guests, special people who have created a radical transformation in their lives using the tool of either weight loss surgery or non-surgical weight loss options and have transformed not only their physical being, but also their mental well-being. Today, I have a very special guest, Amelia Fisher. Amelia had come to me uh, having some issues with weight, and we decided to go down the path of a gastric balloon. She's one of the very amazing, successful uh, women who has done really well from this particular procedure. But more importantly, what really impressed me about her was the way she has embraced this new information and actually incorporated it in her lifestyle. So I'm really keen to talk to you, Amelia. Thank you so much for giving me your time and sharing this information with others because you don't know who you might inspire in looking at their own personal journey. So thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for uh, having me, Dr. Arun. <laughs> pleasure. So I want to begin by asking you, tell us a little bit about what was your major challenge before you decided to consider the gastric balloon? What was going well, on in your life? Yeah. Uh, a lot of food. Right. A lot of wrong food. And I was always hungry. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I didn't find um, inspiration to exercise or to make any changes uh, right. with my diet, uh, with exercise. I was trying in the past but it was short term and uh, not successful. Right. When I have heard about this method, I said, I will give it a go. But for me, what was, I will be honest, most inspirational and why I think I did well and why I'm still doing well is the Bible. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this I is would... my Bible. Right, right. Okay. Well, so we'll come to that in a moment <laughs> because uh, I think uh, uh, I, I want to delve into that in a moment. So your challenges were that you were always hungry. You were lacking the inspiration to do exercise yes. and you were also kind of feeling that uh, you know you were getting bored, you were getting stagnated. Yes. As far as what your options could be, so tell us how did you come across the balloon? Were you considering weight loss surgery, or did you uh, want something without surgery only? I actually was considering surgery. I went and I saw uh, my GP because I was approaching uh, ninety-five kilos. Right. And, okay. Uh, I was, so did you touch went, 95 kilos, Amelia, or you were almost there? I was there. When I oh, had I the, the balloon on 13th of September, mm -hmm. when I hopped onto the scale, ellipse, it was, uh, I was 94.4. Right, okay, okay. And the ladies, Bernadine and the other ladies, <laughs> I almost burst into tears. I was uh, frustrated, devastated, but I already... Um, had the balloon in myself and I said this is the beginning and what I actually did is um, wh where are Dr. Arun's books? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Bernadine said uh, they're here, we have a bag for you and they're here. So right. uh, and yes, yeah, sorry, we went off the uh, subject when I mm. went to GP for the Yes, surgery. surgery, yeah. He 
my husband was was with me and he was definitely not uh supportive of uh, surgery and he said you know he asked the gp is there anything else mm. uh, and i must say the gp didn't know of uh, uh balloon at the time i don't think it was uh, advertised yes um yes. as uh, um uh, yet, uh, he suggested uh, tablets, uh, um, injections, but I wasn't up uh, for that either. Mm. Oh, I my. left and I left the um, uh, disappointed. Disappointed. Mm. Okay. okay. Yes. So, how did you find out about the balloon then? I actually on uh, Channel Seven they advertised the balloon. Yes. And I made. Uh, an inquiry and I waited for uh, the balloon to come available in Melbourne and I did uh, my uh, research and I have chosen Dr. Arun Deer because of yourself, not because you're not, um, you sounded to me that uh, because of uh, other um spiritual things you do meditation yoga mm -hmm. writing books not just not i shouldn't say just shopping stomachs and procedures but you are actually doing things outside of the uh, medicine mm -hmm. and uh, the books and i said this really uh i will i will give it a go and i decided um, right. Yes, when I uh, rang, the ladies are very positive, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I, it felt it felt uh, right for the me. Right thing. Okay, so yeah, I right. guess moving on, you had the balloon on the September, did you say? Thirteenth so? of September. September, right? Okay, and 94. you were ninety-four kilos at that point in time. Yes. Right. Okay. So tell us, did you have any problems with the balloon, Amelia? Did you have uh, the any... first three days, as uh, you have mentioned, I remember that the yes. first three days you said that uh, could be most challenging. Yes. And uh, you gave me advice. You said, "Don't worry about next week, next uh, month, or just concentrate and get by the first week." Mm -hmm. And that's what I was really trying trying to do i was uh i would say just normal reaction of foreign body in my tummy okay. i was still vomiting and all that but it wasn't uh, so after the first week when you settled down then you were okay absolutely i i settled down by day four day okay. five wow. was very good i followed on uh, Facebook ladies were having a lot of, uh, for some ladies were having little further problems. Hmm. I didn't have any reflux. Right. I'm okay. sure that I drank a lot of water and I don't become dehydrated. Right. And I followed uh, the uh, instructions that we got in the book, but hmm. I also got onto the book, I think, even in the car on my way back home. Wow. Because I live three and a half yes, hours. Yes, from yeah. So uh, tell us about the book now, about, because you've shown it us a few times. I want to know what was the part of the book that really resonated with you? What did you just apply that, you know what, this is what I'm going to, the first thing. Um, from the beginning, it was very powerful. You okay. start how... <laughs> Oh no, this is an another <laughs> uh, diet book. And yes. I've read a lot of diet books and I've implemented uh, uh, diets, but mm. this is not about diet. This is actually about the gut. Mm. And I never thought previously that it is all about the gut. It all starts in the gut, what we consume. And where do I start? That's the start. Where do I finish? I don't think there is a finish for me, particularly in this book, because uh, what I have changed, I mm -hmm. uh, not that I'm only finding the book uh, inspirational. I have found your YouTube sessions inspirational. 
what I have been doing is I go and I do YouTube Dr. Arun Deer and sub- something pops up and I listen to that. So I've ditched, <laughs> I've ditched the dead food. Right, okay. I'm eating only live food. Very good. The, leaf, the live food. Yeah. I'm fermenting. I'm doing my own cabbage. Yeah. I think for me it was good also timing because... Um, I've tr- I've uh, gone 80-20 right. again from your YouTube. Uh, so I've 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 tried to retrain my gut, mm-hmm. and uh, that is working very successfully for me. And I'm sure it will work for anyone because it can mm. work for me. Mm. It will work. For anyone, so if I understand this correctly, Amelia, you are not following a particular diet. If say somebody asked you, what does your uh, what does your day look like? Just tell us a bit of a snapshot. What did you do you eat during the day? In the morning, yep. I get and I drink kefir. Okay. Again, we are going here. Sure. Kefir. I try to buy when it's available to me here in the country organic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I don't find organic, I get lactose free, and it's been very good on my uh, uh, gut. Gut. Mm-hmm. In the past, I would start the day with coffee. Okay. Bad. Right. So now, as so soon as so you have kefir in the my... morning, then what do you have? After that, I have because I have now my own chooks. I have uh, one um, uh, scrambled egg. Scrambled egg, yes. Quarter of avocado mm-hmm. and a piece of goat cheese. Right. Okay. We have found a good prote- protein yep. for my gut. Good. Uh, then for lunch, mm-hmm. I have um, vegetables from mm-hmm. my garden, all greens. I now have my own garden. It was Very that's why I said mm, good timing because I'm now uh, producing my own own food. Own Very food nice. yeah. again. Awesome. Go back to going through my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Right. Everything garden: green beans, uh, tomatoes, uh, spinach, green spinach. zucchini, yeah. uh, spinach. Yeah, that's for my lunch. Mm. I include a lot of quinoa now, which I didn't before. Mm. Uh, quinoa, uh, chickpeas. Mm. I never used to buy chickpeas. Right. Lentils, that's for my... Uh, yeah. So again, uh, within a cup. Again, yes. it's within a cup. Then I... Uh, as a snack, I have... Afternoon tea, yeah. Afternoon tea, I'm having one date, organic, or two dates. Okay. That's Very my nice. Yes. And for dinner, yeah. Uh, sometimes I try only swap. I have grilled fish or steamed fish yes. with veggies from my garden, whatever yeah. I find. A Very few nice. leaves of spinach or and chickpeas, or if I have cucumber, I grab cucumber, tomato. I try mm-hmm. to introduce color. Now my green, red capsicum are coming yellow. Wow. I should do that. And uh, I have only either fish or wild caught fish or wild caught salmon. Yes. Occasionally and organic chicken. Very nice. That's in my 20%. The rest of it is 80% yes. plant based. And as you say, occasionally mm. I have instead of uh, organic diet, I have dark chocolate. Very nice. I was going to come to the desserts. You know, life would be very boring without uh, some chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> chocolate, I have that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, that's, that's good. And occasionally, once a week or sometimes twice a week, page 199, the smoothie. Oh, <laughs> oh my not- God. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow. That's really nice. Really- Quinoa, organic, mm. five almonds, five uh, um, um, walnuts, walnuts, uh, berries, berries, uh, yeah. spinach, quinoa, a half a banana, 
uh, wow. and a protein powder as per your and it's my favorite and even uh, my husband has it and he oh. doesn't like, uh, smoothies and all that he doesn't but, like it no but he likes this one so he when i make it. i make double dose and i share wow. that's beautiful that's so nice and what about alcohol some people ask you know do you have a glass of wine here and there amelia is that i you... when i had the balloon i had no desire for alcohol right okay not that i am a mm. drinker or i but mm. occasionally i used to have red wine yes when i had the balloon i had no desire for alcohol really? okay that's interesting no um right, okay. and I don't know when my balloon has gone. I you, so didn't, you didn't notice it. You didn't I feel didn't notice. Or, okay, that and that's a very common thing. Not everybody feels the balloon passing out. But I tried in uh, January for New Year's Eve and uh, for Christmas. I couldn't even finish a glass. Oh, okay, right, right, right. And now, what about now? Now what about I now. Um, now uh, I think because I have been doing what I have been doing, following mm. the Bible and following, I my gut is used to it, my brain is used to it. Yes. I don't have the hung, hunger as I used to. Mm. I still follow what I have been doing. I have one glass of wine once every maybe fortnight. I try in three right. weeks. Okay. I can't have it. I right. can't pick it off. Uh, and I swap it. I drink uh, kombucha. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so put uh, uh, the kombucha in a... In a wine uh, glass. Yes. <laughs> and do cheese with my... <laughs> I think I'm having a sparkling. And <laughs> uh, if I... Exactly. Yeah. My favorite is apple... Uh, apple and ginger and it's the color is the white sparkling so yeah <laughs> nobody um, knows what you're having but they think like, you're having a glass of wine well done <laughs> I, I said i'm gonna have another one tonight okay <laughs> <laughs> so yes yeah i can see that you come across as a very radiant person now like you know as you're saying your gut and your brain has it has shifted this the gut brain axis yes. that, that's the whole basis of any uh, sort of transformation is it starts in the gut but it has to change this otherwise it hasn't completed that success cycle that it has meant to complete now i know before with me it was everyone was saying it's here it's mm. here mm. it's here mm. it wasn't here because it's not here it didn't work for me now when they ask me i tell them it's all in the gut you mm -hmm. need to and i was following previously for a long time mm -hmm. a program from a dietitian mm -hmm. and it was packets and i've ditched all that i don't uh, everything that is wrapped as you say in your mm -hmm. youtube mm -hmm. and in the book mm -hmm. no i make my own beetroot balls That's i make prune and peanut butter organic peanut butter uh balls i add quinoa mm. i add uh, a little bit of honey for sweetness wow. uh, beetroot balls from my beetroot from my garden with wow. spinach quinoa mm. um yes that's that's, that's really good amelia so tell me as we are coming close to wrapping this up i want to ask you is there any message that you have for someone who may be wanting that little bit of push what is the message you have besides having the procedure you know they could have the surgery they could have the balloon it doesn't matter what is the one thing you would like to tell them if somebody came to you that Amelia what advice do you have for us what would you say to them I would say my strongest message is to everyone it doesn't, if you would like to uh, make a positive change towards losing weight, as you have said, Dr. Arun, it does, if it's not a surgery or the balloon, uh, the change, uh, start the change with the gut. Mm -hmm. Food 
is the the healthy food, clean food, mm. all starts from the gut. Yes. The change starts from the gut. From the gut. Okay. Okay. From the gut. So, and and I think in many ways, gut is where your metabolism lives. Your body's metabolism is there, and if you've optimized your metabolism, you can occasionally have some comfort foods. Like you know, it's your best friend's birthday. You can have a piece of cake. I'm going or... for night. I'm gonna have glass of wine, mm. but I know to choose. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So yes. I think that's really powerful. So Amelia, if I can ask you, if somebody wants to reach out to you and talk to you or connect with you, how can they connect with you? Do you have like an email or something that you can give? Please, anyone is welcome to um, reach me out. I'm ha really happy to um, speak to anyone or share any information, any uh, tips that they would like if I can help I will be very happy my email address mm -hmm. e m i l y j o v a n o v s k a at hotmail.com beautiful we'll put that in the notes as well so that anybody who is um, you know wanting to connect with you because you seem to just have so much energy that's what I'm seeing you know that yes. you've got so much energy now. And how many kilos have you lost, Amelia? Can I ask you what is your current weight, if you don't mind me? 22 kilos while the balloon was there. And I think when the balloon was gone in the week or two after that, I lost another one. So I'm now 71.4. Wow. So you came down from 94.4 <laughs> to 71. 71.4. And I'm... The balloon has been gone for over a week now, over a month now. Over a month, and yeah. That white. Wow. And, and, and I, the company, the balloon company, Allurian, uh, only claims that you can lose about 10 to 15 kilos 10 to 15. approximately, or 10 to 15 percent of your. That's what I was uh, aiming. It mm. said if I'm 10, 12 kilos, when I um, started, started to lose more and I felt better and better mm. and uh, also another thing that I did is because I was becoming I was losing weight I got very motivated to do exercise yeah for exercise so I'm not a gym person but I love the water so I do uh, five sessions of deep water running and water aerobics and oh. I as Emanuela was inspiration for me, I tried, I spoke to her and I asked her what she was doing and on Facebook, that mm. was very uh, inspirational and uh, I do my 10,000 steps. Wow, that is I, so good, yeah. I think some it, form of physical activity which yes. increases your heart rate is the key thing for that. And I've never exercised in my life. Oh my God. So I'm 54. I've turned mm. 54 on Saturday for someone that hasn't exercised. And uh, I shouldn't use, it's a very strong word, and I don't use that word in my life, but I did hate exercise. Wow. I've uh, I've increased now my... Developed. Love it. Love it. You found I got love up, for it. I got, I got up this morning at 6 o'clock. I did one hour of deep water running, in sale, then went in Mafra, did water aerobic, and I've already done my 10,000 steps. Wow. wow. I'm going to dinner tonight, and I'm going to reward myself with a glass of wine. I'm not going to have kombucha. <laughs> no, today you can have the real wine. <laughs> did you say it's your birthday tomorrow? And no, it was on Saturday. I oh, last it. Saturday. Oh, wish you very happy birthday, Emilia. And it's so lovely to speak to you. Look, I know you have to go, but thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. And I, you know, it's so inspiring to see that um, when I wrote the book, I said, even if I can touch one life, I would be very satisfied. Happy. Thank you very much. So, You're a wonderful surgeon and wonderful person and wonderful writer and very oh, thank you. inspirational 
person and oh, I will go, I will cry now. Thank you. No, very no, much. no, no, no. Please don't cry. I want oh, you to. Yes. Yeah. Thank you no. very much. Thank you so much, Amelia. You take care and Thank lovely you. to speak to you. <laughs> bye bye. We have a lovely stuff. Pass my regards to Bernadine, Lisa, Monique, and all of them that I don't know. I will. I will. Thank you Thank so you much. All the bye best. Bye. Take care.